Mayor, I'd like to call the regular meeting of the Elmwood Park Mayor and Council to order for April 16th, 2015 at 8.03 p.m. Ladies and gentlemen, can we have a quiet, please? On roll call, Council Members, Caramagna is absent due to travel. Coletti is absent due to vacation. Martino? Here. Tedigano? Here. Vonsino? Here. Dombrowski? Here. Mayor Mola? Here. We have a quorum. Ladies and gentlemen, will you please stand for our prayer and flag salute? Oh God, our Father, we ask you to bless our meeting with we trust the fatherly care and protection. Please remove all selfishness and prejudice from our hearts and plant them in the keen sense of justice and the greater love for you and our neighbor. Guide us in our deliberations so our decisions will always please you and bring peace and happiness to our community. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice. Where is chapter 231 of the public laws of the state of New Jersey? Requires the commencement of each meeting is statement by the presiding officer. Now, therefore, be advised the meeting requirements for this meeting have been met by posting an annual notice in the record of Hackensack, the Herald News of Woodland Park, and by posting such notice in the office of the borough clerk as well as in the public place within the municipal building, uh, and by notifying interested citizens. Said notice was posted on January 1, 2015. Ladies and gentlemen, if you want to watch this on Cablevision, channel 77, or on Verizon, we're now on Verizon also, channel 40, the dates are the same. Tuesday, 12 noon, Thursday, 4 p.m., and Friday, 11 a.m. Tuesday, 12 noon, Thursday, 4 p.m., Friday at 10 a.m., or you can watch it on our own website. And ladies and gentlemen, I do want to indicate to you we have a large crowd tonight. And I want to indicate that if there's anyone here who gets out of hand, I will call the police department right up. <laughs> How many do we have? One, two, three, four. <laughs> They're all, is there anybody under? <laughs> Thank you. Mayor, this evening under the approval of minutes, we have the January 1st, 2015 regular minutes. January 15th, 2015 regular minutes. February 5th, 2015 regular minutes. February 19th, 2015 regular minutes. March 19th, 2015, regular minutes. I'm requesting to pull off the agenda of the April 2nd meeting and the April 9th, 2015, executive minutes. Motion, please. So moved. Moved by Mr. Martino, second, second. by Mr. Pedagano. Discussion? All in favor? Opposed, so ordered. Mayor, at this time, we'll move on to the budget adoption. Resolution 138-15, resolution for the 2015 budget to be read by title only. Whereas NJSA 40A colon 4-8 provides the that the budget be read by title at the time of public hearing, if a resolution is passed by not less than a majority of the full membership of the governing body, providing that at least one member, or at least one week prior to the date of the hearing to complete a copy of the approved budget as advertised has been posted in the municipal building at the local public library, and copies have been made available by the clerk to persons requesting them. Whereas these conditions have been met, and now therefore be it resolved by the Mayor and Council of the Borough of Elmwood Park, County of Bergen, State of New Jersey, that the budget shall be read in title only. Mayor will need a motion. So motion, move. please. So moved. Mr. Dombrowski, second. Second. Mr. Martino, discussion. On roll call, Council Member Catamania is absent. Council Member Coletti is absent. Council Members Martino. Yes. Pedagano. Yes. Vonsino. Yes. Dombrowski. Yes. Mayor, at this time, we'll need a motion to open the public hearing on the 2015 municipal <coughs> May I have a motion to open the public hearing? So moved. Second. Dombrowski, Bonsino, a discussion all in favor, opposed, so ordered. Is there anyone who in the audience who wishes to discuss the 2015 municipal budget, just municipal? I'll close the public portion of the meeting. May I have a motion on the budget, please? So moved. Dombrowski, second? Second. Martino, any discussion? Resolution 139-15, a resolution adopting the 2015 municipal budget. Be it resolved that the Mayor and Council of the Borough of Elmwood Park and the County of Bergen State of New Jersey hereby adopt the 2015 municipal budget set forth herein and shall constitute an appropriation for the purposes stated of the sums therein set forth as appropriations and authorization of the amount of $27,169,013 for municipal purposes for calendar year 2015. 
We have a motion from Councilman Dombrowski and a second from Councilman Martino. Any discussion? Uh, yes, Mayor. Um, relative to our municipal budget, um, we're realizing a near 0% municipal tax increase. Um, and it was largely leveraged uh, from a surplus, surplus and unanticipated revenue. Um, I just want to make a point that in the past couple of years, we haven't really vetted the, the budgets of each department with uh, the department heads. And I'd like to get back to that in future years where we could look for areas to cut in the budget a little more deeply. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you. Any other discussion? I would just like to indicate that I was looking at uh, uh, the video of this meeting on January 1st, and uh, at that time I predicted that we should be at zero for municipal or as close to zero as possible, and we came in at zero. So it's good for us here in the municipal. It does not include what you may be charged in county taxes, open space taxes, or school board taxes. So it's only the municipal portion of your tax bill. And when you get your tax bill, please look at the tax bill and it'll have exactly how much each one of those groups is asking for you or not asking for you. So uh, please look at that. Uh, this, uh, this budget is basically, and, and uh, quite frankly, I'm pleased because it, it's using money we've saved over the years. So it's not, uh, we didn't cut uh, any department drastically or at all. Uh, so it's money that we've saved. Frugal government in past years has certainly helped us this year. And uh, the gentleman sitting to my right is Roy Rigatano. He's our chief uh, financial officer and is very much involved with uh, Keith Kazmark in putting the budget together. And we have to be very careful next year and the following year so we don't have a spike. So uh, that's, that's what I'm uh, uh, pleased with with this budget. Glad it's a zero. We just have to be careful next year and the following year. Call the roll, please. On roll call, Councilmember Catamania is absent. Councilman Coletti is absent. Councilmembers Martino? Yes. Pedagano? Yes. Boncino? Yes. Dombrowski? Yes. Motion carries. Mayor, at this time, um, we have four promotions to make this evening. And I would ask that everyone assembled Please rise as the honor guard escorts in Lieutenant Ralph Sagona, Lieutenant John Harris, Sergeant Joseph Friedman, and Sergeant Jeffrey Sudel. seated. And I would like to turn the program over to present certain departmental awards prior to the installation of these four officers to our Chief of Police, Michael Feligno. Good evening. Before we get started, I would like to take a moment to recognize and commend the men and women of the Elmwood Park Police Department, including our dispatchers and civilian personnel, for their outstanding job that they do on a daily basis. We truly have a great group of people here who have come together as a team and take pride in serving this community to the best of their ability at all times. I want to commend you guys for your job well done. Thank you. Our first presentation is to Sergeant Howard Wren. Sergeant Wren is receiving the Honorable Service Award. Sergeant Wren is retiring. His retirement will become effect effective and official May 1st. Sergeant Wren proudly serves the community Elmwood Park for the past 16 years. He always took pride in his duties and always gave 100% effort no matter how big or small the job was. Howard, thank you for your service and for your friendship. Please come forward.
Okay, now we're going to go on to our Meritorious Service Awards. The Meritorious Service Award is defined as a highly unusual accomplishment under adverse conditions with some degree of hazard to life and limb for the officer or where death or injury to a third party is prevented. On March 13, 2015, Lieutenant Mark Diamore, Officers Jerry Chiavelli, Chris Finn, and Danny Martinez responded to a call of a man wanting to take his own life. When the officers arrived, they found the suspect in a dimly lit bedroom armed with two knives. The officers attempted to reason with the individual, but he refused to comply and repeatedly demanded that the officers shoot him. He then lunged towards the officers with the knives still in his possession. Lieutenant Diamore discharged his pepper spray to the suspect's face, and the officers quickly took him down to the ground and disarmed him. The individual was safely taken to Burger Regional Medical Center for observation and evaluation. These circumstances certainly justify the officers to utilize a higher level of force than what they employed. But because of their training and their ability to remain calm and conduct themselves in a professional manner under extreme pressure, they were able to bring the situation to a safe conclusion for everyone involved. I would like to thank you guys for all of your professionalism and for how well you represent not only law enforcement but the Allen Park Police Department. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. Mr. Kazmark, now we'll move on to the motion. Mayor will begin the promotional exercises with resolution R140-15, promotion to police lieutenant Ralph Sagona. Be it resolved by the mayor and council of the borough of Elma Park that the following name be and is hereby appointed as police lieutenant in the police department of the borough of Elma Park, effective April 14th, 2015, as follows. Ralph Sagona of Elmwood Park, New Jersey. Be it further resolved that said appointment is in accordance with New Jersey Civil Service Commission rules and regulations, and be it further resolved that the above named is entitled to the salary compliant with the current PBA collective bargaining agreement effective immediately. Motion, please. So moved. Moved by Mr. Bonsino. Second. Second. Mr. Dombrowski, discussion? Call roll, please. On roll call, Councilman Catamagna is absent. Councilman Coletti is absent. Council Members Martino? Yes. Pedagano? Yes. Bonsino? Yes. Dombrowski? Yes. At this time, I would ask uh, Lieutenant Sagona and his family to please come forward to be installed by Mayor Muller.
food? Yeah. You want to stay down here? Mayor, at this time, we'll move on to Resolution 141-15, Promotion to Provisional Police Lieutenant John Harris. Be it resolved by the Mayor and Council of the Borough of Elma Park that the following name be and is hereby appointed as Provisional Police Lieutenant in the Police Department of the Borough of Elma Park, effective April 14th, 2015, as follows, John Harris of Elmwood Park, New Jersey. Be it further resolved that said appointment is in accordance with the New Jersey Civil Service Commission rules and regulations, and be it further resolved that the above name is entitled to a salary compliant with the current PBA collective bargaining agreement effective September 19, 2015, as per agreement between the officials of the Borough of Elmwood Park and PBA Local 185, as stated in Resolution 311-14. Be it further resolved that Lieutenant Harris will be elevated to lieutenant compensation in accordance with the PBA contract on September 19, 2015. They have a motion, please. So moved. Mr. Bonsino, second. Second. Mr. Dombrowski, any discussion? Call the roll. Councilmember Catamania is absent. Councilman Coletti is absent. Councilmembers Martino? Yes. Pedagano? Yes. Bonsino? Yes. Dombrowski? <clears throat> yes. Motion carries. I would ask Lieutenant Harris to please come forward with his family to be installed by Mayor Muller.
Mayor, before we move on to the next two sergeant promotions, uh, Resolution R142-15 is a housekeeping item. Resolution appointing Sergeant Barone to permanent status within the police department. Whereas at the December 18th, 2014 regular meeting of the Mayor and Council, Officer Joseph Barone was appointed as temporary sergeant. And whereas in the appointment resolution it was stipulated that the salary increase from police patrolman to police sergeant would be deferred until December 18th, 2015. And whereas it is desirous at the time of the change, Sergeant uh, Joseph Barone's status from temporary to permanent sergeant in light of the additional police promotions made to police sergeant this evening. Therefore, be it resolved by the Mayor and Council of the Borough of Elmwood Park that Joseph Barone is hereby appointed as permanent police sergeant within the Elmwood Park Police Department and be it further resolved that the salary stipulation defer deferring the salary increase until December 18th, 2015 hereby stands. Mayor will need a motion. Motion, please. So moved. Mr. Vosina. Second. Mr. Dombrowski, discussion? Call the roll, please. Councilmember Caramagna is absent. Councilman Coletti is absent. Councilmembers Martino? Yes. Pettigano? Yes. Monsino? Yes. Dombrowski? Yes. Motion carries. Resolution 143-15, promotion to police excuse, sergeant. Excuse me. Can we have Sergeant Perron just put his hand up so we know who he is? He was faking it for a year, now he's official. <laughs> Resolution R143-15, promotion to police sergeant Joseph Friedman. Be it resolved by the Mayor and Council of the Borough of Elmwood Park that the following named be and is hereby approved as police sergeant in the Police Department of the Borough of Elmwood Park effective April 16, 2015 as follows. Joseph Friedman of Elmwood Park, New Jersey. Be it further resolved that said appointment is in accordance with New Jersey Civil Service Commission rules and regulations and be it further resolved that the salary increase from police patrolman to police sergeant shall be deferred until April 14, 2016 as per agreement between officials of the Elmwood Park PBA local number 185 and the borough of Elmwood Park. Take a motion, Mayor. Motion, please. So moved. Boncino. Second. And uh, Martino. No, no Pettigan. Any discussion? Call the roll. On roll call, Councilmember Catamania is absent. Councilmember Coletti is absent. Councilmembers Martino? Yes. Pettigano? Yes. Boncino? Yes. Dombrowski? Yes. I'd ask uh, Sergeant Friedman and his family to come forward to be installed by Mayor Muller. Your responsibility. I'm Joseph Friedman. Do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And I will bear true faith and allegiance. To the same, and to the governments established in the United States, and in this state, under the authority of the people. And I will faithfully, impartially, and justly perform all the duties of the office, police sergeant in the borough of Elmwood Park. So help me God. Thank <laughs> you. 
And may our final promotion tonight will be resolution R144-15, promotion to temporary police sergeant Jeffrey Sudel. Be it resolved by the mayor and council of the borough of Elma Park that the following named be and is hereby appointed as temporary police sergeant in the police department of the borough of Elma Park effective April 16th, 2015, with permanent status effective May 1st, 2015, upon the retirement of a current police sergeant as follows. Jeffrey Sudel, Tawako, New Jersey. Be it further resolved that said appointment is in accordance with the New Jersey Civil Service Commission rules and regulations and be it further resolved that the salary increase from police patrolman to police sergeant shall be deferred until April 16, 2016 as per an agreement between the officials of Elmwood Park PBA Local 185 and the Borough of Elmwood Park. Mayor, yeah, will I have a motion please. So, so moved. Second. Mr. Martino, second? Second. Second, Mr. Pedagano, any discussion? <clears throat> Roll. Councilman Caramagna is absent. Councilman Coletti is absent. Council members Martino? Yes. Pedagano? Yes. Boncino? Yes. Dombrowski? Yes. Motion carries. At this time, I'd ask Sergeant Sudel to come forward with his family for the installation by Mayor Mola. Ladies and gentlemen, you were very quiet while I read that, that uh, statement. Uh, what I'd like to do is again congratulate everyone who was promoted today. Congratulations, you've done an excellent job and you will continue to do a good job, I'm sure of that. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, there will be refreshments downstairs and uh, you've been invited by our police uh, uh, chief, uh, Michael Foligno. So anybody who wishes to go down and have a, a little refreshments downstairs, please do so at this time. Thank you. Mayor, at this time I'd ask everyone to please rise for the dismissal of the colors. I'm going to ask for a, a two-minute recess while everyone leaves the room, then we'll continue with our meeting. Mayor, at this time, we'll continue with the meeting, and we'll move on to ordinances on first reading. Resolution R145-15, introduce ordinance 
15-12 on first reading. Be resolved that an ordinance entitled an ordinance to amend Article 3, Chapter 34-3 of the Code of the Borough of Elmwood Park entitled Definitions and Word Usage be passed and adopted on first reading. And be it resolved that a final hearing on said ordinance will be heard in the municipal building on Thursday, May 7th, 2015 at 8 p.m. or soon thereafter the same can be heard at which time and place all persons interested in said ordinance can be heard. Be it further resolved that the borough clerk be and he is hereby authorized to advertise in a legal newspaper a notice of introduction and final notice as required by law. Mayor will need a motion to introduce. Motion please. So moved. Mr. Vonsino, second. Second. Mr. Dombrowski, any discussion? Call the roll please. Councilmember Catamania is absent. Councilman Coletti is absent. Councilmembers Martino. Yes. Pedagano. Yes. Vonsino. Yes. Dombrowski. Yes. yes. Motion carries. <coughs> Mayor, this evening we have three ordinances on second reading. Resolution R146-15, introduce ordinance 15-09 on second reading. Whereas public notice has been given by the borough clerk that an ordinance entitled a bond ordinance to appropriate an additional sum of $96,200 for the construction of ADA handicap accessible curb ramps at the Market Street and Midland Avenue intersection in by and for the borough of Elmwood Park in the county of Bergen, state of New Jersey to make a down payment to authorize the issuance of bonds to finance such an additional appropriation to provide for the issuance of bond anticipation notes in anticipation of the issuance of such bonds. And whereas said ordinance was introduced and passed at a meeting held on Thursday, April 2nd, 2015, and the further consideration of this ordinance would be taken up at this meeting. And whereas all persons interested in said ordinance were given the opportunity to be heard concerning same. Now therefore be it resolved by the Mayor and Council of the Borough of Elmwood Park that an ordinance entitled a bond ordinance to appropriate an additional sum of $96,200 for the construction of ADA handicap accessible curb ramps at the Market Street and Midland Avenue intersection in by and for the Borough of Elmwood Park in the County of Bergen, State of New Jersey to make a down payment to authorize the issuance of bonds to finance such an additional appropriation and to provide for the issuance of bond anticipation notes in anticipation of the issuance of such bonds. Pass on final reading. Mayor will need a motion to open to the public. May I have a motion to open, please? So moved. Mr. Second. Dombrowski, Mr. Martino, any discussion all in favor? Is there anyone who wishes to be heard on this ordinance? If not, I'll close the public portion of the meeting. Mayor will need a motion to adopt. Motion to adopt, please. So, so moved. Mr. Martino, second. second. Mr. Pedagano, discussion? Mayor, I just want to uh, go on record as saying that there is no um, debt that will be incurred by the borough on this. This is a reimbursable grant uh, through the County of Bergen, through the Community Development Block Grant program and that um, we are simply putting the bond ordinance into effect so that we have something to charge it to until such time as we seek reimbursement from the County of Bergen. Thank you. Call the roll, please. On roll call, Council Members Catamagna, absent. Coletti, absent. Councilman Martino? Yes. Pedagano? Yes. Monsino? Yes. Dombrowski? Yes. Motion carries. Mayor, also on second reading this evening, we have Resolution R-147-15, Introduce Ordinance 15-10 on second reading. Whereas public notice has been given by the borough clerk that an ordinance entitled an ordinance to amend section 7 colon 8 dash 13 C and E of the code of the borough of Elmwood Park entitled traffic and whereas said ordinance was introduced and passed at a meeting on Thursday, April 2nd, 2015 and that further consideration of this ordinance would be taken up at this meeting. And whereas all persons interested in said ordinance were given the opportunity to be heard concerning same. Now therefore be it resolved by the mayor and council of the borough of Elmwood Park that an ordinance entitled an ordinance to amend section 7 colon 8 dash 3 C and E of the Code of the Borough of Elmwood Park, entitled Traffic, pass on final reading. Mayor will need a motion to open to the public. So moved. Mr. Boncino, second. 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 Mr. Martin, uh, Pedagan. Any discussion? All in favor, opposed, or what? Anyone in the audience who wishes to be heard? If not, I'll close the public portion. Mayor will need a motion to adopt. Motion to adopt. So moved. Second. Dombrowski and Boncino, discussion? All in <coughs> Call the roll, please. On roll call, Council Member Catamagna is absent. Councilman Coletti is absent. Council Members Martino. Yes. Pedagano. Yes. Vonsino. Yes. Dombrowski. Yes. yes. Motion carries. And our final ordinance on second reading this evening, Resolution 148-15, Introduce Ordinance 15-11 on second reading. Whereas public notice has been given by the borough clerk that an ordinance entitled an ordinance amending and supplementing Chapter 14-1.10F entitled Fire Prevention Technical Amendments of the Borough of Elmwood Park. And whereas said ordinance was introduced and passed at a meeting on Thursday, April 2nd, 2015, <coughs> and that further consideration of this ordinance would be taken up at this meeting. 
And whereas all persons interested in said ordinance were given the opportunity to be heard concerning same, now therefore be it resolved by the Mayor and Council of the Borough of Melville Park that an ordinance entitled an ordinance amending and supplementing Chapter 14-1.10F entitled Fire Prevention Technical Amendments to the Borough of Elmwood Park pass on final read. Motion please to open to the public. So moved. Dombrowski, second. Second. Boncino, all in favor, opposed, so awarded. Anyone in the audience who wish to be heard? If not, I'll close the public portion. <coughs> May I ask for a motion to, for the uh, ordinance, please? So moved. Dombrowski? Second. Pedagano. Discussion? Ladies and gentlemen, I just have a few words. I'm not opposed to this ordinance. If they have to clean the fire hydrants with snow, they should do it. My concern is that they first have to go to court no matter what. So they lose a day's pay to go to court, and then they can get a, a, a fine up to $500. So in my consideration, it's like double jeopardy. You're, going to, you're penalized for going to court, and then you're penalized. And I don't know what the judge will say, whether it's a $500 fine or if it's a $50 fine. My personal feeling is that we should do the same thing we do when they have an alarm at the business. If it goes off the first time, you get a $50 fine, second time it's twice as much, third time it's, uh, it's twice as much there. I think that would be more consistent and more fair, but uh, I'm not objecting to the ordinance. I'm objecting to having to come to the court. Call a roll, please. On roll call, Councilmember Catamania is absent. Councilmember Coletti is absent. Councilmembers Martino? Yes. Pedagano? Yes. Fonsino? Yes. Dombrowski? Yes. Motion carries. Mayor, this evening under the con consent agenda, we have resolution 149. <coughs> Excuse me, dash 15, payment of bills. Resolution 150 dash 15, payment of escrow. Resolution 151 dash 15, confirmation of payroll. Resolution 152 dash 15, redeem third party tax lien for 66 Donor Avenue. Resolution 153 dash 15, redeem third party tax lien also at 66 Donor Avenue on a separate lien. Resolution 154 dash 15, execute agreement for financial services for LOSAP with Lurch, Vinci, and Higgins LLP. Resolution 155-15, Proclamation to Recognize Municipal Clerks Week, and Resolution 156-15, Adoption of the Bergen County Multi-Jurisdictional Hazard Mitigation Plan. Mayor. Motion, please. So moved. Moved by Mr. Dombrowski. Second. Second. Second by Mr. Martino. Any discussion? I would just like to point out that uh, Proclamation Recognizing uh, Municipal Clerks Week, uh, the person sitting in front of me, our clerk administrator, Keith Kazmark will be sworn in next week as the uh, the president of the Clerks Association in the state of New Jersey. So I think he deserves a round of applause for doing that. And if we have any problems with the clerks, we know who to go to at this point in time. <laughs> call a roll, please. On roll call, Councilman Catamani is absent. Councilman Coletti is absent. Council members Martino? Yes. Patagano? Yes. Boncino? Yes. Dombrowski? Yes. Motion carries. Mayor will uh, need a motion to receive and file departmental reports for the police department for March and the municipal court for March. Motion, please. So moved. Boncino, <clears throat> second. Second. Pedagano, discussion, call the roll. On roll call, Council Member Catamani is absent. Council Member Coletti is absent. Council Members Martino? Yes. Pedagano? Yes. Fonsino? Yes. Dombrowski? Yes. yes. Mayor, that concludes my portion of the agenda. Thank you. Mr. Thank Martino, you have any report? Um, no, just a few things. Uh, I'd like to, again, congratulate the uh, two lieutenants and the two sergeants, the three sergeants, actually, that got promoted this evening. And uh, the 22nd of this month, their homeowners meeting, will be at 7 p.m. again. Hopefully, someone, some of you people can come and we're trying to make the uh, association bigger and we, we appreciate anybody that have any ideas or any concerns so we can help you out. And also, I have a message from uh, Councilman Caramagna. He wanted just to congratulate all the lieutenants and the sergeants that got promoted this evening. Thank you. Mr. Pedigano. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, on June 6th, we will have Community Day in Elmwood Park at Barrow Field. Uh, we welcome everybody to come. There will be games, food, and rides, and plenty of politicians. Um, also, the parks will get a little spruced up in the next couple weeks. They're putting in new uh, netting for the basketball hoops, uh, cleaning up the dark corners, and getting it clean from winter. Uh, so I hope everybody enjoys our parks. Um, and that is it. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. Mr. Dombrowski? 
Yes, Mayor, thank you. I'd also like to congratulate our officers, Lieutenant Sagona, Lieutenant Harris, Sergeant Friedman, and Sergeant Sudol on their promotions, as well as uh, Sergeant uh, Barone for make, uh, getting there through a year of, uh, of, of his uh, temporary duties. On the uh, health board, um, the county is offering breast, cervical, colorectal cancer screening tests. Anybody interested to uh, have those tests given for free uh, for women 21 and up, uh, for a breast and mammography, women ages 40 and up, and the colorectal cancer screening for women uh, ages 50 and up. Uh, please call 201-634-2665, and they will give you the information. Uh, for the men, uh, they will also be offering free prostrate colorectal cancer screening. Uh, that will be for <coughs> any men over the age of 50. Again, please call 201-634-2660. On the Chamber of Commerce, uh, this Saturday, May 18th, will be a fun night for families. Uh, come out to Parkway Lanes from 5.30 to 8 p.m., $25 per bowler. That will include pizza, soft drink, bowling for two hours, and rental shoes. And you will also get a return free game um, at, at, as you depart. Come on out and support the chamber. It should be a lot of fun. Uh, kids of all ages, and that includes the adults. And if the adults can't bowl, we'll put bumpers in for you. So come on out. And uh, thank you. Progress. Mr. Valenciano. Uh, yes, Mayor, thank you. Um, first, I'd like to start by uh, congratulating the officers who received a service award this evening, um, especially Sergeant Wren, who received an honorable service award. I want to thank him for his service to our community and wish him nothing but a healthy and happy retirement starting on May 1st. Uh, I'd like to congr also congratulate our new lieutenants, Lieutenant Sagona and Harris, and our new sergeants, Friedman and Sudol. And uh, in early May, we'll be bringing on another patrol officer, and that'll bring our organization of, uh, our police department organization up to 40. It was a long road. We had a lot of changes over the last few years, but we finally got back to a point where we want to be. Um, you, you probably see a lot of information in the paper about arrests that are made uh, relative to heroin activity in our community. Um, if you really read the articles, you'll see that a large percentage are not from Elmwood Park, uh, but there are some bad actors from our town that we, we occasionally pick up. Uh, the point I want to make is, uh, especially I think uh, our chief would, would, would agree, uh, we are a partnership with our police department. So as residents, uh, it's incumbent upon us if we see something that is out of the ordinary or not right to contact our department, and Chief Filigno and his staff will get right on it. And finally, on the police department, our, our officers have been outfitted with body cameras. Uh, our cars have had cameras the last several years uh, in the cars, but through forfeiture money, we now have, uh, each officer will have a camera on their person. It's been in the national news. A routine police stop could quickly turn complex, and having a camera on the officer will go a long way in, in delineating what happened uh, in a particular incident, so that's very good. On the, for the Ambulance Corps, just one uh, early announcement. Uh, their car show is scheduled for Sunday, September 20th at the high school between 10 a.m. and 3 p.m. And the rain date for that will be October 11th. I know we're a few months away. You'll probably see uh, written announcements uh, soon, but I just wanted to get that date out there for you. And I was supposed to have results of the elect uh, electricity auction for the New Jersey SEM, but those haven't been released yet. So hopefully in our, at our next public meeting, we'll have some information on that. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you. Mr. Brandazzo? Barbara's Mayor. I hope so. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I was at a meeting today over at the rec center. They had some people from the county uh, over there to talk about a, a bicycle path that they want to put through Elmwood Park. And uh, Mr. Pedagano knows this very well. I, I visited there. They want to line the streets and we don't know how this is going to happen or when it's going to happen, but they want to line the street on the boulevard so that people riding bicycles in the streets will have a lane. Uh, River Road, uh, Molnar Drive, Market Street, and Route 4. And I, I indicated to the people there that uh, some of these could be very dangerous. I, I can see River Drive being very, very dangerous. 
uh, Market Street the same way. You have people getting out of their car. If somebody's coming down with a bicycle, they're liable to hit them uh, just by opening the door. Uh, Route 4, I don't know where they're thinking of that. Uh, Molnar Drive is the only one that I thought <laughs> you could go on and you're not going to have a problem. But how are you going to get there if there's not <laughs> anything else to ride on? So they said they'll get back to us. But uh, I'm just expressing my concern. I think people should uh, ride bicycles. I think they should do a lot of walking. And uh, it keeps them healthy and fit. So uh, we'll see what happens there. I mentioned earlier in this meeting about Channel uh, uh, 40. Uh, this video will be on Channel 40 uh, on the dates that I gave you. The tennis courts, we're going to try to get together with the Board of Education to see if we can get some money through uh, uh, open space money and have the tennis courts, new tennis courts, put in on the Board of Education property. And uh, lastly, uh, last week, two weeks ago, we had our first meeting of the 100th Anniversary Committee. And uh, we had uh, over 50 people in attendance at that meeting. Another meeting was set up last week for the Bylaws Committee. We have over 70 people who've indicated they want to be on the committee. So if there's anybody else who's still looking to be on the committee, it's open. We have a lot of different uh, uh, options for you to, uh, to work on. Let me just read those real quick for you. We have art projects, the Festival of the Arts, <coughs> exhibits, contests, um, business involvement, uh, celebration of events, a parade, a fair, hospitality, communications, anything that's being printed, uh, fundraising, uh, history of Elmwood Park and people who've been here for the longest, uh, recreation, senior citizens, souvenirs, uh, youth week, all the different kinds of contests. So those are just a few of the items that we have on the list. So if any of those uh, pique you a little bit and you want to join, we'd love to have you join in on the 100th anniversary of, uh, of Elmwood Park. And, and lastly, I've got to bring this up with the council uh, at, at a future date. I think what we, Elmwood Park should do is we should get involved with the county and become a stigma-free community. Stigma-free community in Bergen County would be one that uh, stands up for people with mental illnesses. It reduces the stigma for mental illnesses. Educate residents that mental illness is a disease. Create a culture of caring so that mental illnesses, uh, the people feel supported. Encourage individuals to seek help if they need it. Uh, Linking people in, in need of uh, local mental health. So this will be brought up with the, uh, with the council, and I hope that the council agrees we can have somebody come in from the county, point this all out, and we can become, along with the school system, a stigma-free community. I think we need more of that, and we're not pointing fingers at people who have uh, psychological problems. At this time, um, I would like to uh, open the meeting to the public. May I have a motion to do that, please? So moved. Mr. Moncino, Mr. Pedagano, all in favor of post so ordered. Anyone who wishes to be heard, Here. if you're going to be discussing the soccer program, uh, we really can't answer any questions according to our attorney because we're still waiting for information to do that. So if you're with the soccer and you have any questions, we're going to be kind of mum on that. Is that correct? Uh, that's correct, Mayor. Maybe litigation. Thank you. And at this time, before anybody gets up, I've just been given the high sign that we have to change the tape, so we'll take a two-minute recess. Thank you. We're back in session. Is there anyone who wishes to speak at this time? Please come to the microphone, give us your name and address. Mr. Freitag, will you be the referee on that and see who fights and wins on that contest? Uh, Steve Covey, 274 Market Street. Uh, the body cameras, that, was that a grant? Yes, forfeiture money, yeah. Um, a couple of you gentlemen, we can't really hear in the audience. I don't know if it's the mics or whatever. Uh, maybe that can be checked out next time. Um, since it is spring, are we going to be cleaning out the storm drains? DPW. Yes, they are. They do it every year. I understand. Just curious about the schedule. Uh, any, I won't bring up parking again this time, but 
Any conversation about resident parking? So far, no. I see the tank was moved. Tank will be restored. It's I understand. And where will it be going? By the Veterans War Monument? It'll be going just back a couple, uh, maybe 50 feet back from where it, is, it was. Same area. Why wouldn't you move it to the Veterans Monument? Because that's where the council decided to leave it, right where it is so people can see it. All right. Uh, Fleischer's Brook, will that be cleaned out or is it cleaned out to Garfield? I'm not sure. They, the walls are all up. I think it's already cleaned out into Garfield. Uh, I see that there's some being work being done on English Avenue Park. Um, some progress, slow, but some progress. I brought that up years ago when Mr. Mangelli and Mr. McLaughlin were on the council. It's a long time ago. Um, it's an extra field that can be used. Um, I know government is slow, but it's been eight years. Steve, right now it's in the process of I know it is, but bidding. it's all in process. Okay. Um, Glenn, will you speak into the what's, microphone what's, so they What's can... happening? Has Cinco Paint ever been cleaned up? No, it hasn't been cleaned up, and we're waiting for additional information. They have to give us some. We, we hired a new firm that's coming in. They're doing it free. Um, what's the, what's uh, anything been resolved at Sherry Hill Park with the issues up there? We haven't discussed that's that, really. Being addressed. I, we brought up about, you know, Market Street, the Boulevard, River Road, Route 4, and we hear those three out of the four streets are county, um, and there's very limited things we can do, but is there any conversation between the town and the county when we bring up these ideas about angle parking and increasing parking space and things like that, calling the county and getting them down and seeing what can be done? If the council wishes to do so, yes. Steve, I have been in contact with the county about that, and they're considering looking into that and considering doing a study for the angled parking. Uh, uh, Mr. Pedagano, when I brought up um, angled parking, you had said now it's... You're well, back in now. Back in. Where, where, where did you find that? that is, would, there an, is there something I can... That actually came from uh, the bike and walk, walking, uh, the pedestrian walkway, um, uh, engineers who put okay, together you, the plan. If you go to Maywood, okay, in the center of town, they have angle parking. Head, you know, head Anything head. that's new. It, it, it makes no sense, you know that, right? It does, didn't sound good to me. Okay. Um, uh, Mr. Kasmark, that meeting that I missed regarding the zoning and discussion about parking, mm -hmm. uh, that, that brought me back to these meetings. Uh, is that, um, was that recorded? Is there transcripts I can read? Um, there were minutes taken. Is, can I see them? Can I get a copy? Okay. Uh, and I see on the docket, I guess it was with the zoning or planning board the other day about uh, proposed shop right on Route 4 where Kmart is? That's before the zoning board. Okay. Any ruling yet? I don't think so. Um, congratulations, Keith. Thank you. Now, Keith is our borough clerk with uh, administrative duties, correct? Yes, That's correct. All right. Um, why don't we just don't make him borough manager, borough administrator? Because I, a lot of problems by doing that. Yeah, you know, well, he has to. Uh, he has to decide what he wants. As borough clerk, he has uh, tenure. As borough administrator. He doesn't have tenure. Okay, thank you. Just curious. Uh, the continuous CO ordinance, which was discussed and passed, and, which is a good idea, especially when you have same like businesses coming into an existing store. Um, it didn't seem like a couple people were too thrilled with that. Um, I do think it's a no-brainer. I think your zoning officer knows his job. And if you have a same business coming in, shouldn't be that big of a deal. Um, so why it was such a difficult decision, I don't understand why. Um, I had a basement office um, where I had an electrical firm, 
I had a chemical supply company. I had a sonogram place. And after she left, it was vacant for two years. I read there to a, a sign gentleman who makes signs. It's in a light manufacturing. And it took me a while to explain it to our zoning official to make the determination if he could rent or not. And it was a similar type of business. When you're changing from, let's just say, an office to Kmart, I can see going in front of the zoning board, obviously. But for these little minor things, I don't think it's that big of a deal. And believe it or not, that's all on my list. Thank you. Anyone else who wishes to speak? <clears throat> Why don't you come up? Somebody come up. And it's my turn. Is this about the soccer? Yes. Uh, I made a statement before we came. I'm not going to ask questions since you don't want to okay. answer any questions. All right. Um, okay. That's fine. Give me comments. Well, you know what concerns us? Because we were about to invest some money from the club and from our sponsor to erect a big scoreboard on the town ground, on the main field. So we were forced to put everything on hold. We would like to know as soon as we can what is the outcome, what is the decision of the council. We will tell you as soon as we come to a decision and the Board of Rec comes to the decision. Sir, can we just have your name and address for the record? Yes. Zanon uh, Nowobilski. Can you spell that? Hold <laughs> for one. Just, just give me your address. <laughs> okay, 54 Hillman Drive. Thank you. Okay, as we we're trying to draw the roadmap for our club, invest in the club. We, want it, we not only want to ask parents, okay, give us money, give us money. We just, we just want to also give something back. We want them to feel at home. We want to work with town which I think so far there, was, there wasn't any issues with that. So before you make decisions, take, please take that in account, okay? Thank you. Anyone else who wishes to be heard? Yes, good evening. Uh, Edward Tomofsky, 9118 Park. Uh, Mr. Mayor, Council Members, um, I understand a decision has not been rendered However, I would like to make a statement if I may. Sure. So, um, as a party of interest with the EP Wrecking Crew, as the Director of Coaching and Training, um, an interesting occurrence uh, happened this past Tuesday during our training session. A U16 player from EP United walked on our field with his father, asking if he could come try out for our club. So, of course, naturally as a coach, I <coughs> wanted to know the reasons. Yeah, simply said that, well, I play for the U18 boys. On the U18 boys, there's rostered 26 players, which U.S. club soccer allows. Out of 26, only 18 can dress. So at any given time, Mr. Mayor, council members, only 18 players can go to the game. The remaining players are not allowed to go to the game. <coughs> but they are all charged for being on that club. Now, some players were not charged, only to fill vacancies, if you will. Um, as a person who grew up playing this game, involving in this game, as a parent who coaches his son in this game, as a player who played for the U.S. national team as a youth, they're making sparring partners out of these children, not players. They're not promoting soccer. Um, as parents, I don't know how you would receive such notice that your son is not playing this Sunday. We decide he's one of the six parties that cannot play, but he's on the team. Uh, food for thought here, gentlemen. Our team is U13. We can register up to 22 players. We roster 18. We register 18. All 18 come to the game. All 18 pay an equal cost. They do not. So this boy will now be joining our club. We're going to welcome him and a few others that are now going to be fledging our way. So again, some concerns here. They have players, however, and I state however, you're going to take a 16-year-old and put him on a U18 team 
and tell him he can play some of the games, some games he cannot play. But you're going to make him pay to be on this team. So they're not promoting sportsmanship. They're not promoting values here, gentlemen. They're promoting quality and not quantity. We do not promote that. We do not take one player above the maximum allowed to dress during a game. My whole life I played this game, I still play this game. As a parent, it would shatter my ego knowing that my son can be on this club but cannot play because they chose not to have him play this week. But come to practice, you must come to practice, and you will pay me for a uniform. You will get no training sessions with trainers. Our club, we have trainers for our kids. Our club, our children train with coaches two days a week. We have values as a club. Again, we're not here to abuse um, the system. We're just here to let you know the difference between the two organizations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else? <laughs> haven't made the decision yet, but just before you do make that decision, I know people say, well, we had it with baseball. But the problem was baseball, there were two independent factions, leagues. We are running through the wreck. That lady, Helena Nowabilski, spends two hours a day dealing with the rec center. So my thing is, what is, I guess, the good of dealing with the rec besides the fields? Eventually, they're going to get some fields. That's what our concern is. Um, again, with the scoreboard, we have a donation for $4,000 to the scoreboard, and I was told by the rec, well, we'll put four in, you put four in, and maybe the club could put in the other 4000 Do you know how many Skittles these parents have sold to get that 4000 So our concern is, again, are they going to be able to use the scoreboard? Not against the kids, but the club. We, like I said, we run a tight ship with the rec taking care of us and helping us. It's, we, we basically want to know, we'll want to be the club of um, Elmer Park. And by doing this and letting them have fields, it only um, slow the process. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else who wish to be here? If not, I'll close the public podium. No, no, we have one more. One more, more Mayor. Whew. You just made it. Sorry. <laughs> I thought he did this. <laughs> uh, Rich Jawinski, 43, Old Dutch Street. Uh, I was just hearing about this, the soccer uh, problems here. The, the uh, advisory board, the rec board is just an advisory board now, correct? That's, That's correct. correct. The ultimate decision is on this mayor and council, right? That's correct. Okay, thank you. Anyone else? Any slow standards? May I have a motion to close the public portion? So moved. Dombrowski and Bonsino, discussion. All in favor, opposed? Keith, you have something you want yes, to Yes, Mayor, we need to enter into executive session this okay. evening, whereas the Open Public Meetings Act, PL 1975, Chapter 231, permits the exclusion of the public from a meeting in certain circumstances. And whereas this public body is of the opinion that such circumstances presently exist, and whereas the governing body wishes to discuss litigation, Fernando versus the Borough of Elmwood Park. Minutes will be kept, and once the matter involving the confidentiality of the above no longer requires that confidentiality, then the minutes can be made public. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the public be excluded from this meeting. Mayor will need a motion to go into executive session. Motion, please. So moved. Boncino, second. Second. Bon uh, Pedigano, discussion. On roll call, Councilmember Catamagna is absent. Councilman Coletti is absent. Councilmembers Martino? Yes. Pedigano? Yes. Boncino? Yes. Tom Browski? Yes. We'll be taking no formal action after executive session. Ladies and gentlemen, before we conclude the meeting, I just want to read over again. We have some people here. Uh, if you want to watch this on cable, it's channel 77. If you want to watch it on Verizon, it's channel 40. And it's Tuesday at 12 noon for either one. Thursday at 4 p.m. for either one. And Friday at 10 a.m. for either one. Or you can watch it on our own website. Okay, may I have a motion to adjourn? Moved by Mr. Pedigano, second by second. Mr. Mr. Boncino. Any discussion? All in favor of post. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming, and uh, we appreciate your attendance. Oh.